Want to know the science behind how Batman uses his grapple launcher? Hey, Kiara, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Howdy, everybody. I'm Josh. And I'm Kiara. Today, we also have the amazing bat computer, Penny One. Greetings. And welcome to Batman Science Lab, where we test the science behind Batman's amazing crime-fighting technology. We've been learning about all of his tech as members of the Night Watch, Penny One's new program encouraging people like you and me from all around the world to practice honing our skills and be everyday heroes. That's right. One of Batman's most recognizable and most used gadgets of all time is his amazing grapnel hook launcher. Oh, hey Penny One, can you pull up Batman's grapnel launcher to show everyone what we're talking about? The Grapnel Launcher is definitely unlike any other gadget in the Dark Knight's arsenal, which he uses to get in and out of dangerous situations. Couldn't have said it better myself, Penny One. I mean, he uses this thing in a variety of different situations. I love it when he uses the Grapnel Launcher to swing from building to building to get places faster. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I wish I had my own grapnel launcher just for that purpose. But there are so many different elements in play as Batman is swinging between buildings in Gotham City. Uh, gravity, inertia, and energy. And by understanding these things, Batman can use it to his advantage and safely swing into action. Consider myself hooked. Well, that was just puntastic. Let's talk about two different types of energy. First, potential energy. Potential energy is energy that is in an object and is stored, ready to be used, depending on the object's position. Let's, uh, oh, let's take this ball, for example. When you pick the ball up from the table into the air, your hand is the only thing that's keeping the gravitational pull from pulling it back down. So that ball is filled with potential energy that is equal to the amount of gravitational pull and its mass. So the more an object's mass, the more potential energy it has? Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, so go ahead and uh, let the ball go. Nice, now when you let it go, the gravitational pull moved the ball and all that potential energy turned into kinetic energy. Oh, so kinetic energy is just potential energy changing from resting to motion. Yes, let's see how Batman uses both potential and kinetic energy with this grapnel launcher. This is so awesome! Does this mean our Batman is going to be able to swing over Gotham City like a real superhero? Yes, it does. Now, let's put ourselves in Batman's boots, shall we? Let's say he's standing here on building A, and he's gonna swing over to building B, which is the exact same height. Standing on the ledge holding his grapnel launcher, his potential energy is based on his mass. So, do you think he'll be able to swing to building B? Hmm, if he's relying entirely on potential energy, I don't think he'll be able to make it. But let's figure it out. That's the attitude I have. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. Cape Crusader watches vigilantly over Gotham City, wants to swing to the side. Kiara, count it down. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That was awesome! That's amazing! He made it to the exact same height on the other tall building. I didn't even think that was possible. All right, well, let's think about it this way, okay? When Batman is swinging around Gotham City, his rope is creating a swinging arc. Now, when he's stepping off the ledge and he launches into it, his potential energy turns into kinetic energy, and it just gets faster as he heads to the bottom of his swing. So, when he gets to the bottom of his swing, he has enough inertia to help him complete the arc to get him to the exact same height as he started. Hmm, I think I know what inertia means. Okay. Isn't it that when something is moving, it won't stop moving until something else stops it? Yeah, you pretty much just said Newton's first law of motion, which is an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by another force. In this case, gravity is a force acting on Batman, slowing him down as he tries to complete his swinging arc. Knowing all that, we discovered, Kiara, that... When swinging, your potential energy, which turns into kinetic energy, is enough to reach the exact same height on the other side of the swing. Amazing, fantastic. Way to go. So, what if... Batman wanted to reach a higher building? He would need more potential energy to reach higher. Mm -hmm. So, what if we added more weight to Batman? Because more mass equals more potential energy, right? Interesting theory. Let's test it and find out. All right, so we've added more weight to Batman, which has increased the amount of mass on the grapnel launcher. Let's give it a shot. Okay, count me off. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, okay. 
So the weight didn't exactly make that man go higher. It almost looked like it reached the exact same height as when we launched it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, Maybe we should we try, need again? To try again. Yeah. yeah. You read my mind. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. Hmm. It didn't go higher again. Maybe we need to try something else. Let's try something else. Let's take the weight off and figure it out. All right. Well, adding more weight didn't work. Cause let's think about it, right? Adding more mass means that you will have equal gravitational pull. So the potential energy will just let Batman go the exact same height. Then we need a way to add more force maybe? Mm. Ah, yes. You know how like when you're swinging on the playground, what do you do to get more height? I kick my legs. Exactly, you add more force. What if we gave Batman a little push at the beginning? So he builds up inertia on top of what he already has. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we're gonna make sure Batman is nice and aligned. Give him force. All right, count me off, Kiara. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, maybe give him a little bit more force. Just a but tad just a more. Tad. Just a tad more. I think you're right. A skosh, if you will. All right, three, two, two one. one. Whoa! We got it! That was just the right amount. I think we really got a grip on this grab no launcher science, wouldn't you say? I think we really got into the swing of things. Oh, this one, so punny. Physics is so cool. I can't believe Batman has to make all of those calculations. Just use his grapnel hook launcher. I mean, it's true. Think about it. He has to calculate how much inertia he's going to need on top of calculating the weight. I mean, that's just so much to figure out. These are calculations that I could make instantly. But Batman is not a computer like me. He must constantly make these calculations in his head. And that requires lots of practice and intelligence. But that's what makes him such an amazing superhero. Wow, it's true. I guess science really is a superpower, huh? I think so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Batman Science Lab. You can find more awesome Batman content here on the DC Kids channel. Now, I'm off to the playground to do some real swinging. <laughs> All right, well, be safe. We'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>